Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Bard's Tale. Last time we left off, our friend the Bard had made its way to his way to Kirkwall and uh, had discovered, well, certain issues with uh, Bove's <laughs> various descriptions, Farmer Finn's daughter, who he was trying very hard to avoid, including her father, and with a certain bell that was missing, and as luck will have it, Farmer Finn is the one who owns it now. So, like it or not, the Bard's gotta do something about it. Now, let's get started across this bridge, and that is Finn's farm. Now, let's see. There's a safe point. And there are some wolves. Are these wolves? Yeah, they're big wolves. Okay, so I've got my... I've got my... Um, my huntress and my healer as, as support characters. And uh, I think the wolf has just have to take out the healer, so I'm gonna have to do something about that, but not before I'm just keeping them away. So yeah, the problem is that they obviously go after your um, your companions as well, and especially the healer uh, <laughs> doesn't have much health and cannot really defend herself very well. So while well, the huntress can take a beating and dish out some, she's still better at range, and the healer will heal the companions and and themselves as well. So I've got to keep uh, all these wolves queued up. <laughs> Say, hey, over here. <laughs> Pay attention to me! Don't look there! Don't do anything smart! Oi! Oi! Let my, leave my healer alone! Okay, so now I get knocked over. My dog's helping when he's not just currently knocked over. As these wolves are uh, pretty strong. These are the big ones. And um, the healer's dead again, so well, we'll summon another one. <laughs> it's not that we're running out anytime soon, you know? Like, I don't know where they're coming from, but I can just make... The problem is she's spawning in the wrong, in the wrong spot there. She has to actually go back. And, and, and stay behind rather than being up in the front line because that's where I'm supposed to be. Okay, so that's that taken care of. Another wolf. A uh, couple more crits in. My dog is attacking the other wolf because my dog is immortal. <laughs> Which is very good because otherwise he'd have been dead ten times over. <sighs> okay, uh, that's all the wolves taken care of. A healer is healing everyone. Let's save the game. And um, collect all the pelts because, well, money. And uh, I think that's it about here-ish. Is there anything else on this side? Is there anything? This is this. What is this building? Is that something we can go up? Oh, nope, there's another wolf. No, nope, I spoke too soon. More wolves. Okay, some of it more of the same. Let me skip ahead to the point where we have defeated all these wolves and make our way into Finn's farm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, chosen ones don't seem to have a high life expectancy over here. If you were another of those chosen ones, looks like the only thing you'd have been chosen for is lunch. I'm guessing you don't mind if I borrow this armor. Though it doesn't seem to do much good against wolves. Just a second is not true. 
when your life is run amok, you will see that you're the schmuck. Oh, it's bad luck to be, really bad luck to be. Nobody could disagree. It's a freaking guarantee. It's bad luck to be you. Italy. Are they going to show up every single time I'm finding one of my, my predecessors here in this thing? <laughs> okay. So, sold my leather armor. And I've got a leaf armor. Which uh, doesn't sound particularly protective. Let's check it out. Where's my equipment? Yep. Gather the mag get the magic bell from Finn. That's what we have to do. Okay. Oak leaf armor. Uh, okay. Oh, it's got oak leaf prints on it. That's what it means. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, it's better than what I had, obviously, so well, I'll take it. It was free. He's not needing it anymore. Uh, he obviously wasn't as chosen as, as he thought he was. All right, then. Well, onwards towards Fid's farm. What, what is this here? Some form of summoning circle. Well, it's got more wolves to begin with. Oi, you, stop, stop chewing on my, chewing on my support characters. Come here. I'll, You're a little soft, I'll aren't you? Keep your nose. <laughs> yeah, I got. I've got healers. You've got healers. You don't. Okay. Uh, anyway, what was that thing? Uh, some form of. Uh, yeah, just just her me healing me. Some sort of ritual thing. Stone circle. Ah, I'm. I'm sure it has no further significance. What could. What could that do here? It's probably some old thing. Now, where do I get into Finn's farm? Not here. Actually, it took me a while to find the entrance. It's on the other side. All right. Get off my land, you filthy vagrant. You're not welcome here. Don't burst a blood vessel, old man. I was sent here to reclaim an important artifact. There are no artifacts on this land, you idiot. Mostly just chickens. Did Connor send you? If so, you can tell him that I'll get him his money and the wedding is still off. My daughter doesn't want anything to do with him. You go back and tell him that. I don't know any, Connor. And you're a bit of old coot, aren't you? You have until I count to ten. One, two, three, four, yeah, uh, mm, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, damn well. No, no, keep going. I have all day. <laughs> but don't strain yourself. I can't have you passing out from exhaustion before I get what I want, have you? <laughs> that is quite disrespectful, stranger. I like it. I haven't heard any wit in these parts since, uh, well, it must have been the fourth year of the Second Age. Old man McGillicuddy's great-nephew Kyle, was he that tried it? Don't think it worked out that well for him, though, if my memory serves me. Which, at your age, I hardly doubt. Still, it has been a long time. I'll try to be brief so you won't forget. I'm here for the bell you won from both. You really are a nasty fellow, aren't you? Nasty? <laughs> I thought I was on my best behaviour. I don't get nasty until after I get what I want. Ha! 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 I like your son. You're just as ornery as I am. That is refreshing. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Since you cheered me up, I'll just give you the bell you're after. What do you think about that? There must be a catch. Not too trusting, eh? I really do mean it. You can just take the bell. Just don't tell Connor I gave it to you. I don't want word to get out on being generous. Especially when I owe so much money. Connor? Yeah, he wiped me out so badly gambling. I had the trade in my daughter's hand in marriage to get out of debt. I knew you were a despicable old man. But your own daughter to get out of debt? That's a nice twist. Well, you got that right. But she ruined it by falling for some loser. Now the wedding is off. <laughs> I feel sorry for Connor. I feel sorry for the loser. But back to the things I actually care about. If you hand over the bell now, we can finally be done with one another. The bell is yours. A deal's a deal. I uh, tell your daughter I'm sorry I can't attend the wedding. Wedding? Did I hear someone say wedding? You've returned to me, my love. Daddy, this is the man I was telling you about. We're getting married. Well, welcome to the family, loser. Thanks, Dad. Would you like seven children or an even eight? I think eight is enough for me. We'll be so happy together. And just think, someday this will all be yours. Kind of brings a tear to your eye. Well, Dad, 
How about that bell? You're a cut through the manure kind of guy, I see. That's me. You and I, we think alike. Like two peas in a pod. That's why I insist I give you the bell. On my daughter's wedding day. I earn that bell fair and square. Well, it's all in the family now, my son. To be honest, I'm glad it's you and not that good-for-nothing Connor. He hasn't the wit God gave my horse. A wise man knows when he's beat. Let me go into town and spread the joyous news of our upcoming nuptials. Think of me while you're away, beloved. Believe me, you're embedded in my brain. I just can't get you out of there. Until next time, my love. Dad? Oh, I know you'll be back. I can't wait to hear those wedding bells. The bard found himself engaged to none other than the farmer's daughter. It seemed our little hero was growing up. Get me a tissue. Who asked you? I obviously have two options here. Marry her, or find some poor fool to take my place. Hmm. Let's make that one option. I'll have to have a heart-to-heart -heart with this Connor fellow. Ah, oh, balls, and we almost got away with it. Bollocks. Just, we had it. We had the damn bill. <laughs> almost in our hands. And now it's all gone pear-shaped. Oh, well... So, back we are in Kirkwall. The bard needed oh. to find a way to make the farmer's daughter happy and forget about him at the same time. Perhaps seeking out her former betrothed would be of help. Right, so we'll have to convince the guy she was engaged to previously that he would like to be engaged to her and she would like to be engaged to him. Right, where would we find this guy? Probably in the bar, drinking. Because where else would we find somebody like that? A bar was somewhere, somewhere over here-ish? That shopkeeper no, that kicked me shop. out of his store when I asked you. Uh, since we're here, actually, uh, let's see if there's anything that we can get ourselves that we can use. Mm, shopkeeper, where was he? What do we have right now? We've got, we've got this thing and we've got this armor. Okay, haven't really been using the bow much. As I, so, so far, I like the tanking approach better. Let's see what he I'm has. Sorry. You've obviously wandered into what you believe to be the local tavern. That is down the street. Well, you're still a massive prick. I could use some protection. You want armor? You do realize that we don't sell on credit here. Okay, I can't Let quite afford that. Else. How about... Show me your swords and flails. We sell only the finest melee weapons here. Much too expensive for you. Well, that I could afford. Uh, or... Well, interesting. Ah, that would be a flail, my economically challenged friend. Simple, non-elegant, and packs quite the wallop. It might be on the steep end for you, but maybe you can borrow the money from friends. Not that you have any friends, of course. That actually looks good. It's unblockable. Um, I might get myself that, actually. It's, uh, it's affordable. Let's do it. Doesn't do as much damage as the sword, oh, but nice purchase. Good to see you making an effort to get off the bottom rung of society. Just try not to hit yourself in the head with it. I should hit you in the head I'd with like it. I'd see your bows. Bows? You couldn't even afford the string. Let me see something else. Yeah, we'll, see we'll get back to the There's bowls. a shop in Houghton that you might be able to afford. Yeah, I should really start hitting you in the head with this flail. <laughs> okay, now to the bar. Where would that guy be? Oh, here's the bar. The fat loot. <laughs> okay. Uh, where would you be? Um, actually, now that we're in, in civilized environments, uh, let, let me dispel my companions and put my sword away. Just so we're not looking like we're going to be raiding the place. I mean, it's a bar. I like, could totally do that. All right, sword away. How do I do? Uh, that's the flail. Can I just select it here? Ah, there we go. No, no, it starts the sword out. Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, no sword out. I don't want to stab anybody. Although I'm pretty sure we find somebody who deserves stabbing. Um, priest, you're probably just healing. Is there anything else? Or are you just healing? Welcome to Carquel. Care to buy me a drink? I mean, make a donation? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a regular healing blessing thing that's going on. Okay. Connor, there you are. 
Let me guess. You're Connor. How did you know? Oh, who am I kidding? Olive Gargoyle knows what a fool I am. Lend me your sword. I'd be afraid to lend my weapon to an oaf like you. You might snap off the blade while you're trying to stab yourself. I don't know who you are, but you have a big mouth. That's not all I have. You see, I'm the one who stole your woman away from you. You! I'll get you for that. <laughs> That's not all I have, yes. <laughs> okay, so, um, we're getting into a fist fight with this guy. Mm, let's see. Come here. I don't want him to kill me, obviously. But, um, this is just a fist fight. Well, he, he, not, he, he knocked out my dog. It never seemed to occur to the bard that knocking the piss out of Connor would fail to solve his current problem. Ready to clean my boots with your face again? I'll do for you this uh, time. Round two. Okay, so we gotta let him win. Yeah, I, I figured as much. Okay. I'm just gonna stand still here and let you punch me. If that gets me out of this whole affair, I can block. Ah. If that gets me all out of this affair, then it's all worth it. Stop punching my dog, though. There you go. Almost, almost. Yeah, I'm standing still. You're the one who's failing at hitting me in the face. There we go. Okay. beat him senseless that was wonderful connor i never realized how manly you were let's forget this loser and go someplace quiet whatever you say love uh, you you go have your eight children <laughs> at least i'm out of this affair she has a knack I hope for nobody important up. saw that yeah i hope nobody important saw that either <laughs> it's okay Ah, bartender, what you got? I need a drink after this. So what'll it be? Uh, nothing with the name of Bo on it, ah, please. That looks this better. This is one hell of a stout. Oh, got one. A strong ri Nice. Nice. And that actually gives us a bit of a buff. Please put a time. Do you have anything to say over here? No? Not really? We're done here? Okay, so, back to business. We still need that bell, so we can give it to the boves, so they can summon the summon the pretty princess, and we can get on with this whole thing. All right then, back to Finn's farm it is. Uh, get our weapons out again. I don't know how to do that. Oh, I can't use the flail. Oh, there must be a skill that I'm missing. Okay, so, everybody remind me, next level up, uh, I need to select the flail so I can actually start using this thing. And the wolves have respawned, because of course the wolves have respawned. These things breed like rabbits. Okay, let's get my crew out again. Healer. Okay. Somebody in need. And ranged expert, please. Where was she? Oh, over here. Okay. There you go, ladies. Let's kick some wolf butt. Uh, long story short, we're fighting our way through to the farm again. And here we are. Going through the gate, and there should be... Where is he? Oh, here. I've made your daughter happy, Grandpa. So hand over the bell. I don't know how you did it, son. I owe you thanks for getting her out of my hair. What's left of it? I'll miss these pleasant chats of ours. The bell is yours for the taking. There's an old horse out in the pasture. The bell's around his neck. Good luck. <laughs> You chase the old nag around the pasture and grab the bell, and I won't slaughter all your chickens. How's that? Well, me chasing that nag will do neither of us any good. I'll drop dead and you still won't have the bell. <laughs> as much as I'd like that, I do need the bell. That old horse is possibly the meanest, nastiest creature I've ever known, present company included. I put that bell on him so that I could hear him coming and get away as far as possible. If you get the bell off that horse, You'll be sure and thank Bo for providing a poor old man such amusement. Which one? There's more than one. Never mind. Okay, we're almost done with this part of the fetch quest. So, we've got to find that horse and get the bell of the horse. And the horse is apparently a mean bastard. Well, he's in good company then. Uh, let's save the game quickly, just to make sure, in case this horse turns out to be a lot more dangerous than we thought it was. Uh, there it is. Okay, ornery old horse. Oh, let's let's go, horse. Uh, we seem to have left some wolves as well. Oh, okay, 
and I'll deal with the wolves quickly and we can get back to the horse because the horse seems to be able to take a beating okay oi oi horse stop killing stop killing my support characters right, anyway my archer scattered she has a You're machine a crossbow archer. Now we're just gonna keep you staggered and keep you down. Now I'm we're killing you inside this circle here. I'm sure this is fine, right? Oh, horse is dead. It's twitching. Yeah, horse is dead. I see you're just as good with animals as you are with people. He started it, and I have the oof marks to prove it. Uh, you need help burying your horse? Shh! Don't call it my horse. I've never seen this animal before! If the town elders see that you spilled the blood of my horse here, we'll be stoned. They used to use this site for executions and sacrifices back when we still did that sort of thing. And I'm not about to be here when they decide to start again. Great. Just what I need. A mob of angry villagers at my heels. <laughs> you aren't going to just leave it here, are you? I'll come back after dark when nobody can see me. Now, let's flee from this place. Or you know, you could just let take the wolves take care of it because you've got so many of them, and, and they keep so coming back. And so the bard, with bell in hand and the smell of horse on his shoes, rushed back to the temple to meet his new lady. She's not my lady. Well, but to be fair, that's what we're trying to achieve here. So the horse is dead. I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen because we slaughtered it in the old sacrifice place. <laughs> uh, I mean, we've killed some wolves there before, did we? Not sure, actually. I'm sure we'll be fine. All right, that's it for today. And uh, next time we'll see, well, what happens next to the bard. Until then, I hope you all have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye.